guys, YouTube peoples, wherever. Um, flew in last night <clears throat> from Wisconsin. Flight arrangement stuff was a uh, kind of a pain in the butt because I couldn't find a couldn't find a flight. I found a flight out of Chicago, so I bought tickets to fly from Chicago to Denver. Then. That was technically supposed to be tomorrow. Anyway, it was really a big old pain in the butt. And then, um, I don't know, snow. And I was going to get a ride with a guy to Cheyenne. Um, a lot of mix up. Nobody could get flights. Um, we didn't know if we were going to work on Wednesday. We didn't know if we were going to work. Nobody, nobody knew anything. Um, anyway, so I ended up finding a flight yesterday morning. Bought it, three hundred and thirty bucks. Um, that's why I fly Southwest. Southwest lets me use. They let me use a uh, credit, so I canceled the Chicago flight, which is a hundred and something dollars. And uh, got the flight out of uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee to here to Ontario, California. Califire. Um, anyway, I'm tired. Um, but yeah, long flight. I got home about 11 o'clock last night, which is 1 o'clock Wisconsin time. And then we worked a lot of hours out there. Um, starting at 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, till 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Just wearing us out installing this, uh, we installed a big bridge. So, they had to raise the bridge 3 or 4 feet. So, trucks can get under it because they couldn't dig it down anymore because it's, I don't know. A lot of water under the ground, I guess. So if they dug down a foot, it would just be a swamp. So they raised the bridge. Um, but yeah, project's done. Next next trip is to uh, Utah. Anyway, I got home and uh, have some parts. Um, I'm sure sure didn't have some have a mess. Um, the parts for the AC compressor for the 4th gen, they're supposed to be in today, they're supposed to come today. Uh, so we'll do a video of tearing that down, even though I already did a video of tearing it down, but we'll do an actual video of tearing it down, putting the seal in, and all the, uh, seals and washers that go in here, because I ordered a whole rebuild kit for that. Um, okay, next, um, ordered this big old U-joint, uh, for the 4th gen, I bought a U-joint for one side when I did the bearings, <clears throat> I did all the front axle bearings, um, and one of the U-joints had some play in it, so I replaced the U-joint, and, uh, the next part I'll show you taking the axles out so while I'm in there I might as well just replace the other U joint so here we go on to the big reveal you know what I'll save that I'll save that for last so anyway I got this Flotech exhaust got some headers for the fourth gen. Just kidding, guys. This is for Project Crack Pipe. It's the Y pipe. Ooh. So, it's the Y pipe. This goes on the driver's side. And then this goes on the passenger side. So, we have 
that's the Y pipe. And then it comes with hardware, bolts, whatever, whatever. So it's two and a half inch diameter pipe, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, what else I got back there? So onto the reveal. Bum, bum, bum. Wheel bearings. I'm replacing wheel bearings on the fourth gen. So I'll go into another video. I'll do a whole video about it. <clears throat> but basically, uh, this is uh, the Ram Man's. The Ram Man. Uh, not not sponsored by the guy or anything. I tried I tried to get him to give me a discount, but he didn't. So I don't know. He's from Texas. Little company out here, out of not out here. Little company out of Texas. They make uh, wheel bearings, and uh, they use Tim Kin bearings. No photos, no warranty. Why do we need your installation photos? Warranty verifies installation date, verifies correct installation, verifies correct vehicle application. Camera, email, phone, text, Polaroids, snail mail. We don't care. Photos by any means are acceptable. Um, and then they'll if you install it and send them a short video, they'll give you a hundred dollars. So, of course, I'm gonna send them a video so I can get a hundred dollars back. So uh, it, everything's color. So color pictures. So there's a spacer. This spacer goes between the wheel bearing. <clears throat> so I'm doing this to get a, a quarter inch offset of wheels. So I don't have to buy spacers. Just kidding guys. And then these round spacers as he calls them. Just look like uh, eighth inch stamped steel washers. They're gonna go on here, on each stud, and uh, where's the instructions? Instructions. Oh, here we go. Failure to read these documents can void your warranty. He's very adamant. He's very American. You will go watch his video, The Ram Man. The Ram Man Inc. Anyway, I got home last night, opened it all up. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, there's a video out there of a guy who installed some on his Dodge. On his Dodge truck. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I've, I've never seen this product. Or the product that he installed. I've never seen them for the Ram Man. And I've been watching the Ram Man videos for four years four years because I was going to put some on my 99 um anyway it just says uh, um basically they want an image to do your warranty um and then every oil change lock the hubs lock your hubs at every oil change in the 80s uh, locking hubs were factory installed um and they basically just want you to drive it for two or three miles um, <clears throat> so that they can get lubricated because uh, it's just free flowing they want you to lubricate the uh, front diff so if your diff isn't spinning uh, it could accumulate rust and stuff so they want you to lock the hubs drive for two or three miles um, to lubricate in there um, Anyways, you don't damage your lockers. These aren't lockers. These are locking hubs. But it goes into a whole, the whole install. Bring this. I'm gonna bring this in the house and read it, and then uh, I'll come out and I'll do a full spread video of it. So that'll be the next video. So these these uh, hub spacer washer deals. I'll go into that too later. But he goes into it saying that the 
uh, proven, you know, facts of why it, why he uses those spacers um, to cool the disc to keep the heat away from the wheel bearing. Um, I guess it's like what NASCAR and them do, 200 miles an hour. Uh, they put in spacers between the rotor and the wheel bearings, the hubs, to cool, to keep the wheel bearing cool. Um, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, it says it's the, the only thing that I'm having an issue with is he says they're Temkin, which I'll believe him, but when you look at the bearing, which I'll go into in the next video, man, these are heavy. Oh. Um, usually Timkin is proud of their name, so you can see it says Timkin right, right here. So it says Timkin. So the the wheel bearing itself is Timkin. But in his video, he says that this inner bearing here, that the axle shaft rides on, he says that, that Tim, that's Timkin. And uh, Timkin's usually pretty proud of their name. This one says Korea. Bangy. Um, F-A-F-N-I-G. So I'm going to have to look that up. Um... And I kind of want to call them, but anyway, it, this is a Timkin wheel bearing. The whole wheel bearing is Timkin. Um, but yeah, so I got this to install. I'm not going to go in depth on this video because I'm already pushing my buttons right now. Um, <clears throat> pushing the timeline. But anyway, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to read this whole packet, everything. I read all the instructions, every brochure. This way, if anything does happen, he can't blame me. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I'll go into why why I got him. Oh, these are the lockers. He puts his little his name on there. T R M, the Ram Man, four by four. So, but anyway, stay to stay tuned for the next video. This is just. This is just a video of what I'm doing, what I got planned for my days off. Um, mostly probably sleeping and resting. Because uh, they fed us a lot. A lot of food. And I ate a lot of food. So uh, my body's not used to eating a lot of food. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. You guys subscribe. Thank you for subscribing comment do what you guys do and uh stay tuned for next video i'm gonna tear all that open and do everything and then uh i don't really want to go outside because it's windy as you can see i don't want to do anything to project crack pipe but i do want this these days off i will be putting this on and i will be taking project crack pipe for a drive so Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Thank you for doing what you guys do. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.